Hey, I'm Virtual SG, and I'm going to talk about pixel image resolution in Clip Studio Paint. Now, this is my Deviant Art profile, and just in case you're unfamiliar with this site layout, this is one of my illustrations here. This is the About Me part. Here are other people's artwork that I've favorited. These are my uploads. Here are some of the accounts I'm following, and then here's more stuff by me. And we can go to my gallery. And I could show you my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, stuff like that, but I don't really use those sites. I use this. This is where my artwork lives. This is my social media site where I share a lot of my artwork. Also, of course, my website. This is my website, and this is my artwork. Now, the reason I'm showing you this is to demonstrate pixel image resolution. The internet. This is the world of pixels. And that means all these images have pixel image resolution. I'm sure you can wrap your head around that. But another way of saying it is that they only have pixel resolution. And pixel image resolution is really pretty simple, or is it? Well, keep in mind that you are not seeing these images at their true resolution right now. Pixel images can be resized by display resolution. In other words, our screens can resize the images. Of course you understand that, but I'm pointing out that we use pixel images in computers because it's so simple. We do it all the time. So to further demonstrate this concept, let's pretend that I love uploading to websites and sharing my work online, and that I loathe printing my artwork and handing it to people. I never want my files to be useful to a printing company. Oh no, none of that for me. Only computer images for me. I never want to see my files printed on paper, or coffee mugs, or billboards. I only share my stuff online. Now, I want you to think that way as well while you watch this video, because this video is only going to be about pixel resolution. So I'm going to make something in Clip Studio Paint. Go to New and go to this yellow box and focus on this unit drop-down. This is your pal. This is where you make the big decision. And it's not a complicated decision. Remember my attitude about stuff being printed out, that I have no interest in that? Well, that leaves me only one choice, one decision, and that is Pixel. Do you remember that old Sesame Street song, Which One Doesn't Belong Here? No? Well, anyway, Pixel doesn't belong in this list. It literally doesn't belong here. You see, Clip Studio Paint has this pixel option just hanging out here with these other guys. But if this drop-down were more intuitive, pixel would be like a check mark that would disable these other choices. And that's because these other choices are for people who want to print a copy of what they're making, whereas pixel is definitely not for that. I'll talk more about the other options in the next video, but I will give you this preview. All four of these other options, centimeter, millimeter, inches, and point, those are for people who want to print comic books and print movie posters and stuff like that. They're all physical dimension options. They are absolutely not pixel image options. And don't confuse the word comic book with online comics. Online comics are pixel images. Now, I realize you may want a printed version of your online comics, but that subject is for the next video. Right now, we only care about computer images, pixel images. So now that I've beat that dead horse, I will choose the only pixel image option available, which is, can you tell me? Right, it's pixel. So let's move on. So how big should I make this canvas? Well, it all depends on what I have in mind. Let's just start with 800 pixels by 600 pixels. Now that's not exactly small, but it won't fill up a computer screen either. I would usually use a size like this for sketching or to come up with a rough idea, but it is a decent choice for simple illustrations. So I'll use these settings to create a simple illustration. And now for the resolution settings here. Well, forget it. This resolution option, this may as well be grayed out as far as I'm concerned, because I'm not using it because I chose to work in pixels. 800 by 600 is its resolution. 800 pixels by 600 pixels is its resolution. The only complicated thing about this setting, when you've got the pixel selected here, the only complicated thing is that the image would print if someone sent it to a printer, but it will print pixels, which is not a good idea at any resolution. The reason it's not grayed out is because you could print the pixel image. 
People don't usually do that because it's counterintuitive and troublesome. But you can go down that rabbit hole if you want. Of course, it's a lot simpler to just start out with one of these other settings for that. So believe it or not, I don't really give a crap what this is set for because I'm not printing it. I'm going to post this image on the internet. So I hit enter and I make a simple illustration, a minimalist illustration, let's say. Now I'll export this as a JPEG and I'm using the export function, but basically I'm just saving this as a JPEG. So I'm going to upload this to DeviantArt. And there you have it. That's 800 by 600 pixels and that's it. Now let's go back into Clip Studio Paint and do something a little interesting. Let's take a new approach to this image. Inside this badge is supposed to be a star-shaped insignia. But when I try to add that detail, I'm not getting very nice results. I mean, this is fine, but let's just pretend that this insignia detail is really important to me. And the key word there is detail. So let's go to edit, and this is a little tricky. I'm looking at these two options, change image resolution and change canvas size. So here's the thing. I want to demonstrate a very simple concept, but in order to do that, I have to pretend that I've changed my mind about my canvas settings, and that's a real can of worms that I'm not going to get into. What I'm going to do is just go to change canvas size and make the canvas bigger. I'm going to make it 2,000 pixels by 1,600 pixels. All right, now Captain Jerk is in charge of a lot more space. No pun intended. Uh, now I'm going to do something bad. I'm going to select Captain Jerk and resize him. And you can see he's lost some quote-unquote resolution. He's a bit pixelated now. And that's because I stretched all the pixels out to make him this big. Now I would not do this if I was serious about this change I'm trying to make. I would redo the whole drawing in this new canvas. But for my ultimate point, I will redo his badge and you can see that I now have more resolution, more canvas space, more pixels to work with. And then I export that and I upload it to DeviantArt and now that badge detail that was so important to my artistic sensibilities can now be worshipped by all my adoring fans. But I don't really care about that badge and he's all pixelated anyway so I'm just going to delete this because I think the small one is fine. So I was going to go into this subject further by demonstrating some painting studies, but this video is getting long and I think I've made my point that pixel image resolution is more pixels or less pixels, and that's it. Don't even use the word resolution, just think about how many pixels you want. Uh, I hope you found this video useful. I thought it was going to be kind of simple, but in order to keep it that way, I definitely skipped over a lot of technical information. I can't go over every scenario, every option, every conundrum, every solution or workaround that comes up. This video would be a two-day seminar. Uh, so the next video is going to be about straight-up old-fashioned image resolution, so hang on to your hats.